I have to admit that over the past several years that I've been working on this project, I have literally become obsessed. And from the very beginning, one of the things that really concerned me the most was whether my idea, due to its intrinsic simplicity, would it be actually suitable for a patent. Therefore, a major milestone in the overall progress of my project was the conduct of a freedom to operate analysis that was performed via a program sponsored by QB3 representing a collaboration with Hastings Law School and the law firm of Fenwick and West. I will never forget sitting in that conference room and having the attorneys review for me the results of that analysis. Having reviewed a large database of patents, they were able to essentially assure me that there was significant novelty to my idea that they felt would in fact support a both composition of matter and method of use uh, claim for my product. And that was a tremendous relief because I felt at least we could move forward not fearing that we would have a product that would uh, fail uh, patent support. There are so many things about the process of uh, becoming a bio-entrepreneur that I find exciting and rewarding. But along that way, I've also learned and had to expose a tremendous amount of naivete. And one of the things that I was extremely naive about was the relative importance of the science relative to the creation of a viable business. I initially felt when starting this project that if I could prove scientifically that the product worked, that everything else would simply be a matter of course, like a series of dominoes simply falling. Nothing could be farther from the truth. I now find myself faced with additional challenges, some of which may be greater and more difficult to solve than that of proving the science. And so I'm now focused on what is the exact regulatory pathway that will be necessary for this, process, this product to be approved by the FDA. How am I going to convince others to actually invest so that I can create a company of sufficient size and scope to conduct a large clinical trial? So I think that you know, it's, it's like peeling the layers of an extremely intricate and multifactorial onion that with each additional layer, I'm finding greater and, and in some respects uh, more significant challenges than I ever would have anticipated uh, when I started this process. Thank <laughs> you.